Hi everyone. I'd like to demonstrate how data shortcuts are used in Civil 3D. Um, essentially they're there for different people to do different parts of a design and to update as they continue with the drawing. I'll demonstrate this using a surface and alignment to generate a profile and to use data shortcuts, essentially XML files which are generated as one saves the project into a separate folder to update the profile. Let's see how we go about this. First of all, on the prospector in our tool space, we have a look at the data shortcuts and set the working folder to the correct folder in this case civil 3d 2016 essentials chapter 2 and then we also create a new data shortcut project folder I'm just gonna call this one blog and I say okay so what this does is generate within the folder a blog directory and within that a shortcuts directory and within that then the different elements that can be saved out as data shortcuts currently they are empty there's no alignment there's no surface this now sets the data shortcuts to global location regardless of which drawing is open So to create one for the surface, we go to the Modify tab, uh, the Manage tab, Create Data Shortcuts, <coughs> and here are then listed elements for which we can create data shortcuts. I'm choosing the existing ground surface, and I say OK. And that has now generated the existing ground as a data shortcut. And what happens within the folder is that the surface now has an XML file associated with it as well as a global unique identifier which was generated for that XML file. We do the same thing with the alignment. Again on the manage tab we say create data shortcuts and we're going to choose main road A. Okay. And then within the profile drawing, we now need to generate references to these. We right click on them and say create reference. Well, first of all, let's just have a look at which surfaces are available to us within the profile. There's none. The, the, the drawing, there's no surfaces. Under the center line alignments, there are no alignments. And then we create a reference. I'm accepting that and also for the center line alignment main road A create reference proposed main road A site none we can accept that okay so that now brings in this geometry from the XML file creates a reference and shows that for us on our main road A and there we can see them. From these two now we can generate a profile. If we generate a, a profile, create a surface profile, there we have main road A, and we can add, and then draw in profile view, create profile view, and once we've done all the settings, there is now the profile that has been generated for the existing ground based on this alignment. <coughs> Note that if we had to trace, let's see at station 0 plus 300 to 0 plus 360, 
So we're looking at this area over here, 0 plus 300 to 360. If I draw a circle over here, this is the kind of area that we're looking at. I'm just going to draw a quick polyline to, in inverted commas, record the existing profile to compare that to what's going to be generated next. So I just want to get the general shape of this profile recorded. There we go, almost there. And then we're going to go back to this to the alignment drawing and I'm very simply going to edit this alignment without saving there's no effect but as soon as we save we go back to the profile view we'll get that there's a reference sort shortcut that has changed and we synchronized and here we can see now how changing the alignment has drastically changed the profile that's getting generated so one person works on the surface one in the alignment one in the profile and data shortcuts are used to manage the information that are shared with each other, which means everybody can work at the same time and the management of the shared information is made easy. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short demonstration. Enjoy Civil 3D, fantastic package, and contact Micrographics if you need training or assistance um, with data shortcuts. Until next time.